Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Bath and Body Works fall candle haul and a little combined mini Sassy Girl Aroma haul too. So I've never really done a lot of combined haul videos on my channel just because I like to dedicate the video to the vendor or to the brand, but I had a very small Sassy Girl Aroma haul that would not warrant its own video. So I decided I will sit down, went to Bath & Body Works today, buy two, get two free candles, and if you got the 30% off coupon in the mail, it made the candles like $9 and change each. So picked up some classics. I don't think I actually got any new fragrances. I just got some that I looked at my collection and I don't have any from the previous years that I wanted to pick up that I either really enjoyed or just really wanted some backups. So I have Sassy Girl Aroma and Bath & Body Works. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with Bath & Body Works, I actually had a free reward for like a body care item. So I picked up the Autumn Drive Shower Gel. I have so many Bath & Body Works shower gels from working there in the past and just hoarding them. I have so many shower gels. So I was like, well, whatever, I'll pick it up. I'll either gift it or it'll sit in the collection. They don't really expire after like the last. So Autumn Drive is Wild Raspberry, Warm Amber, and Vanilla Birch. And this is pretty nice. It just smells like a Bath & Body Works fruity fall shower gel. Nothing too crazy. I like it. It's fruity. I'll use it or I'll gift it, so have that. All right, so I picked up eight candles. The first one I picked up is Frozen Lake. This is one candle that I never really appreciated until a couple apartments ago when I had a roommate that was a very short-lived experience. I learned that I'm not meant to have a roommate, and but he loved Frozen Lake. He would burn it all the time. It was a staple for him, and I never really appreciated it, but when it burned, oh my gosh, love. Frozen Lake says lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, and juniper berries. And I'm really loving this White Barn Core packaging this year with the leaves and the gold with the fragrance notes on the front. I just, I think it really looks nice, but eucalyptus, lavender, and juniper berries, this really just smells like a very icy, cool, outdoorsy fragrance. And when you burn it, it fills the room and it just makes you feel, I don't want to necessarily say cozy because it's not a cozy fragrance, but it just makes the room feel comfortable and you can notice it. This is a scent that I feel like when you're burning it, you don't have to walk out of the room and in the room to experience it. It's beautiful. I love Frozen Lake. I will always purchase it every year. It's so pretty. That and Lakeside Morning are like sleeper favorites for me. Never really understood them until I burned them. Beautiful. Um, sticking with the White Barn Core packaging, leaves. It's a classic. I buy leaves every year and I only have one in my stash. And I'm like, gotta burn that. And I just love having a leaves candle in the house. And this is Crisp Red Apple Golden Nectar Warm Clove Spice. I feel like everybody knows leaves. It doesn't smell like leaves. It smells like a really, really true apple cider scent, but not overly spiced, like a clove forward apple cider. Oh, it's so good. This I would love in a shower gel. I feel like this would be a really great shower gel, and I love the brown jar with the brown packaging. So really excited to pick that one up. And then Pumpkin Apple. Now I will say, I prefer Yankee Candles Pumpkin Apple to Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Apple. I just think it's a little bit more true to life. Where Pumpkin Apple from Bath & Body Works leans a little artificial. It's Red Delicious Apple, Fall Pumpkin, Fresh Ground Cinnamon and Clove Buds. It's good. I, I'm gonna burn it. I bought another one. I do like to have it in the house, but it's more... The apple leans like candied apple, and the pumpkin is more just like spice, like a pumpkin spice versus a like um, more warm pumpkin. It's good though. I'm excited to have another one. Now, you want a good pumpkin? White pumpkin oak wood. This came out last year. Absolutely loved it. The burn, not so much. It didn't burn great. So I got a fresh one. Hopefully it burns well this year. 
If it doesn't, it'll go in the candle crock. And really like the packaging, this like burnt red with the white pumpkin and the like oak wood. And the notes are fresh picked white pumpkin, smooth sandalwood, and spiced pear. Now see, that's how this is interesting. It's oak wood, but the notes are sandalwood. <sighs> this is so good. This is a very sophisticated pumpkin scent. It almost reminds me if a cologne company was going to come out with a fall pumpkin scent, but it's not cologne-y, but it definitely is more conceptual as far as like pumpkin fragrances. I really like it. It's very cozy and comfortable, and I feel like this is one, if you're burning it in the living room and you have people coming over, nobody would be offended by it because it is really just a beautiful, warm, creamy pumpkin. Uh, this and white pumpkin on its own are beautiful. I do like white pumpkin oak wood a little bit more. I picked up two marshmallow firesides. Classic. You can never go wrong with marshmallow fireside. This is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. Now, in the world of vendor wax, Marshmallow Fireside is duplicated, it is mixed with things, it's used as a blender all the time, and I feel like you don't really notice it a lot of the times in blends, at least I don't, on its own. Every year I'm always like, oh, Marshmallow Fireside, like throughout the year, eh, whatever. It's so good. It is so good, and the packaging is so, so modern. I love it. I love the, like, silver color with the very lightly distressed leaves. Beautiful, the gold lid, the bronzed gold lid, love. You get the smoldering woods. Everybody knows Marshmallow Fireside, I feel like, by now. So good. Had to pick two of those up. Flannel. Can we ever get rid of flannel? No. Last year, it came out in Body Care for Men. Loved it. Went through that shower gel so fast. So good. And this is Fresh Bergamot, Heirloom Mahogany, and Soft Musk. So good. So good, and I love the lid. It's like textured wood, but flannel is so good. It's masculine. You get the bergamot. It's very deep and rich, and this is another one. It's very strong. You don't need to leave the room to smell it. You'll constantly get that fragrance of flannel every time you smell it. So good. And then last but not least for the candles is Harvest Pomegranate. Fell in love with this last year. I remember it came in shipment in like a single wick. And me and my assistant manager were smelling and we were like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it is rich pomegranate, freshly picked apples, and sweet black plums. It smells like a, like a pomegranate jam. I don't know how else to describe it other than that. It is so jammy, so fruity without being a summer fruit. It definitely is a warm fall fruit fragrance. And I wanted to get this video up, like I said, buy two, get two free this weekend because you guys have to pick up Harvest Pomegranate if you haven't. Let me know down below if you do. It's so good. Always a classic. Can never be, well, it's a new classic for me. Love burning it. It was super strong last year. Excited to burn it again this year. I actually think I have another backup in my stash. I just wanted to pick up another one. So that was it for the short little eight candle Bath & Body Works haul. Now let's move on to Sassy Girl Aroma. If you've been watching the Sassy Girl Aroma hauls online lately, you know the reason that prompted this order. We'll talk about it in a second. But I have been really good at not buying a lot of Sassy Girl Aroma. I'm open and honest on my channel. I have 200 brittles in my collection. I did a Sassy Girl Aroma week this week. Today, I have a Chef's Kiss scent. Return to Oz. It's like blackberry jam, butter cookie, pumpkin pecan waffles, toasted marshmallow, and zucchini bread. It's so good. So, blackberry jam, butter cookies, having a moment with me. Love it. Talked about it before. But anyway, um, I need to hone in on the Sassy Girl Aroma. After this, I have no orders. I'm not ordering from this pre-order that's closing. I think it closes tomorrow. And then I'm not ordering from the next one unless there's something that's absolutely I have to have. I'm honing in because I have 200 brittles and I need to use them. So anyway, my sample I got in Blue Hydrangea. And these samples are perfect for the bathroom. Just one little one ounce scent shot. Pop it in a tea light warmer in my bathroom and it lasts almost the whole day in my bathroom. And this is pretty. 
It smells just like a hydrangea. I will say it's interesting. Her her samples are definitely not very seasonally appropriate most of the time. I get like Christmas ones in the summer, and I don't know. This is very spring like, and that's where it's gonna go. It's gonna go in my bin, and I will melt this sample in the spring. It'll have a nice long cure time, and I would totally order this in a brittle. Probably just one. Because I feel like one day I would be like, well, I really want something really bright floral. And this would check those boxes. I really, really like it. All right. Now, what prompted this order? Pumpkin creamer. I am here to take full responsibility for anybody who does not like the pumpkin creamer. I, knock on wood, have not found anybody online who has not liked pumpkin creamer. Um... And you guys ordered it. I raved about it. It sold out, I think, two times in a row in like five minutes. So I had to snatch up three pumpkin creamers. And the notes on pumpkin creamer are a cozy blend of cashew creamer, pumpkin puree, brown sugar, and a sprinkle of nutmeg powder. For one, the brittles are gorgeous. I, I don't want to smush the bags. So I'll just pull it out a little bit, but look at that. My favorite colors, it screams fall, and then that creamy yellow on the background. Okay, slide it back in. It is so good. It's how I was talking about, like, I think I'll actually melt this when I burn white pumpkin oak wood in the living room, because it is. It is creamy, creamy pumpkin, and cashew creamer is what I think sets this apart from the crowd, because you get that warm nuttiness mixed with the creaminess of the pumpkin, and it's not spicy. I know how, like, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, or I know that she had one, like, a churro fragrance, and it was like, whoa, red hot cinnamon. This is definitely more creamy, creamy, warm pumpkin. It is so good. I literally want to wear, like, an orange knit, like, blanket, turn on TV, and just chill with the windows open and that crisp fall winter, or fall winter, crisp fall air that's brisk and crisp is coming into the house. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. Love, I have a mini muffin of it and it's curing and going to be fabulous. So, so excited to have some pumpkin creamer in my life. Obsessed. Continuing on, I have It's Fall Charlie Brown. I didn't just want to order those and like pay for shipping. I wanted to justify shipping. So I picked up a couple more. And It's Fall Charlie Brown is apple pumpkin strudel and zucchini bread. Doesn't that just sound amazing? And it's really good. You definitely get the zucchini bread. It's definitely that like homemade baked zucchini bread. But I feel like the apple pumpkin strudel is a very fresh apple. Like, I feel like I'm getting, you just took a bite out of a crisp, red, delicious apple. Not a Mac apple, like a red, delicious apple. And again, like, that warm pumpkin with, like, a cinnamon sugar shrudel topping and the zucchini bread. This is so, so yummy. I really like this. I think this is going to be a great fall bakery. And that's why I like, like, I got these. I put my little sticker on the day I got them in the mail. So this is August 5th. And, you know, by, like, October, they're going to be nice and cured. And I will melt that the week of, like, Halloween or fall in October when I'm just wanting those warm bakery delicious scents. Now, Different end of the spectrum, I got two like springy summer scents that are just going to be perfect for next year. One is Be True, and this is totally up my alley. Beach Nights, Blueberries and Cream, and Shaving Cream. Again, obsessed with Beach Nights. I mean, who isn't anymore? Beach Nights is fantastic, and Julie has an amazing one. It's like salty, breezy air, s'mores. It's just so good, and you absolutely get that. But I do smell like, and I don't want this to like freak people out, but like a blueberry yogurt scent. I don't think yogurt as in like sour yogurt or like, you know, curdled milk or that like sweet milk scent that really isn't amazing in vendor wax. Mm -mm. It's like a very creamed pumpkin or pumpkin blueberry, very creamed blueberry. And I think the balance of that like blueberry yogurt mixed with the motorcycle mixed with the like marshmallow toastiness of the beach nights and then in comes freshness of shaving cream which just 
makes it like, hmm, I'm smelling that and I'm like, is that shaving cream? It is, very fresh. Doesn't mean masculine. Shaving cream and like barbershop are two totally different scents. I don't like barbershop at all, but shaving cream, totally up my alley. It just adds that freshness, almost like a, a jolt. Sort of like when you add sour cream to cheesecake. I had a cheesecake in New York once. It had like a thin layer of sour cream on the top of the cheesecake. Chef's kiss, delicious. It like added that tartness, that almost tanginess of a sour cream, delicious. Now, another amazing scent. I actually requested this with Julie right before the pre-order and she snuck it in and added it. Garden Strawberry. I believe I did share this on my channel. I got a bag of blocks in this. This description, absolutely. A true ripe strawberry straight from the garden. And it is. It is a fresh picked strawberry. You smell the greenness of the leaves. As crazy as it sounds, it smells like the dirt from the garden and the juiciness of a strawberry. It's not like strawberry medicine. It's not like strawberry chapstick. It is truly an authentic, authentic strawberry. I could not be more happy with this. I actually think I wanna, now that I have the bag of blocks and the brittle, this I wanna melt on its own like throughout the house one day, next spring. But I think that, like the bag of blocks, mixed with like a fresh baked bread or something, think would be really good because you're gonna get a true strawberry bread. I think that will be so good. I already have so many ideas to blend with this because it's a true green, out of the garden strawberry and the name garden strawberry fits it that was it it was a short little haul try to hone it in because 40 minute videos are long i love making them but sometimes i just want to get the information out to you guys and sure so let me know are you participating in the bath and body works candle sale this weekend what are you getting are there some that you're absolutely loving that i need to pick up Believe me, I have some Cider Lane candles because Cider Lane is an online exclusive this year. There is like a 3250 like fancy skull jar. I think it's ugly. I, I just don't like it. I think it's way too gaudy, but that's just me. And then did you order from this Sassy Girl Aroma pre-order? Are you ordering from this one? I'm not. Um, yeah, I just, like I said, I need to, need to watch because I just do. And I just got tickets to Adele for my birthday in Las Vegas, so I'm extremely excited about that, and I want to save some coins so I can have an amazing vacation, birthday week, in Vegas. Not till March, though, so I have seven months to save up some money and have an amazing Vegas trip. So, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. Be kind to one another. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys. See ya.